Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft. This is my flex point video made by Hugh Collins. Today I'm going to be showing you the cross section of a pyramid from Egypt. It's not very big, only about six real life meters high, as the real Great Pyramid of Khufu is 146 meters high. Very, very tall. <sighs> So, here we go. What I'm doing is, this is my little transport network to get you to my wonderful creation. I'll be giving you a full explanation of all the details, and I've included some rather interesting facts. If you're wondering what kind of mods I'm using, please talk to me in class. Alright, looks like we're just about here, and there we are. Let's dismount and destroy our cart, and welcome to Minecraft. Or at least, my little creation. This is my not-so-scale model of a pyramid. Obviously, it's not complete yet, because it's a cross-section. You don't have to complete it all the way. Anyway, so... I've taken into account necessary detail. Nowadays, it just looks like there's just these sandstone blocks, bricks, whatever you want to call them. But back when they were built, it was all of this beautiful white limestone that made these a beautiful, beautiful thing. It was filled with dirt, gravel, whatever you want to use, whatever was available even. Something to that could keep it structurally sound, but could also be used as an easy filler. So bricks, not a good idea. Dirt, a great idea. Sand, even better. Nice and easy and abundant. It's everywhere. So, right here, on this top little bit, we have weight-relieving chambers. What these chambers did was support the weight of the building and kept it from collapsing in on itself onto the main royal chambers. Speaking of royal chambers, this is one now. I've taken into account canoptic jars. These heads will represent the god that's on top. And here, of course, are the mummies. So we have their head, their heart that they need to use in the afterlife, some bones, flesh, and a bunch of other trinkets that they would find useful in the afterlife as well as a nice little decorated thing. Here you can see random little windows. You may ask what they're what they are for. Well, I'll show you. Set the time to night. And they are used to watch stars. Stars are very important to Egyptians as they were great and probably the first even astronomers. Well, actually, no, the first would be the Sumerians. But they perfected what the Sumerians had not been able to complete. So, you could say that they were the first modern astronomers. They were only maybe about... They weren't very big, not nearly as big as this would be if it were scale. It would be like maybe about half of this little cubic bit. You can't really see inside, but from the inside you can see outside catch light at the night and such. What most pyramids had was a little corridor, lots of them, and they would be used to mislead grave robbers. So imagine that there's a wall here with two passages, you can't see anything. Would you go left or would you go right? If you went right, in this case, you would go into the royal chamber and you'd be able to steal all these wonderful, wonderful stuff. Except this gross black. Or if you went left, you would go into what these were found quite a bit and descended very, very deep, often under the pyramid. These were just unused chambers, and they are thought to have been used to mislead grave robbers and such, to keep them from stealing anything, getting them lost, and making them want to give up. Of course, after maybe 50 years or so, these things would become unguarded, and grave robbers would eventually pick their way in. 
But that's just about all for now. Um, if you have any questions, please talk to me in class, and I will be happy to give you the best answer I can. I hope you enjoyed my little Minecraft video, and I will be signing off. Thank you very much. Goodbye.